They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but a thousand words can't even scratch the surface of the story of Taylor Morris. On May 3rd, 2012, an IED in Afghanistan left Morris a quad amputee. Over the last 10 months, Taylor's recovery has been documented by a close group of friends. He lucked out in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of his friends are very skilled and very talented in, in multiple forms of media. This is Tim Dodd. Tim is not only Taylor's photographer, but also his friend. The two met detasseling nine years ago and have been close friends ever since. Only weeks after his accident, Tim went camera in hand to see Taylor at Walter Reed Hospital in Washington, D.C. We go up and his back was to us. He was sitting in his chair, but they were working on dressing his wounds at the time. Because he was still, I mean, at this point, six weeks, you still have pretty serious wounds and they're still bleeding even and stuff like that too. So his, he real quickly, it's just kind of a, a very informal, hey guys, what's up, you know? And turned around and then went right back to, you know, what was going on. And before either one of them knew it, life almost seemed normal again. You now he'll be sitting in a car and he's in the back seat, so you can't see, you know, like in the like when I'm driving, you see in the rear view mirror and you just see his face. You totally 100% forget about everything. We've done a couple road trips now already, and you just you just totally forget. And I think he totally forgets. And we just sit there and we laugh, and it's the same thing as always, you know. And it's it's really cool to see that 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 attitude and you know nothing has really changed. All of these pictures tell the story of Taylor Morris. Thousands upon thousands of words coming together to tell a story of hope, determination, and the belief that anything is possible. It's kind of the person that Taylor is. It's just like, if he if he believes in something that he can do and he thinks he can do it, he's going to do it. He doesn't care what, what the doctors say. He doesn't really care what Danielle says. But Danielle's kind of right there with him. She's And she thinks, you know, if, if he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And 